Hello and welcome to Unreal Life, a puzzle adventure game developed by Hako Life, available on Steam and the Switch, I believe. And well, it looks interesting. It's, I, I guess I would describe it as something that looks a little bit like Yume Nikki, you know, in the sense that it has a bit of like a pixel anime-esque style to it, but also it's all about exploring a very surreal world it seems you know at least from what i've seen from the trailer anyway and well i wanted to try it out why not let's uh press the button oh that's uh no that's the menu that's not what i wanted at all uh press this button okay and there's a uh, controller support by the way so that's why i'm using controller um but uh, let's see you're going to love tomorrow's story Okay then, see you tomorrow. Unreal Life. Title drop. Oh, emergency. I don't know. What was that? What does that mean? I don't know what- I can't read that, to be honest. I- I don't know. I know I can read Haru. H-R-A-R-U. H-A-R-U. Katsun... Oh, I don't know. This game is translated. <laughs> you know, it's just- I guess this part is- this, they didn't bother. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Checking field authenticity, start life form communication, start guys. Or maybe it could be gibberish, maybe. I don't know. Seiko? I don't know. Requesting reply. Are you alright? I am the high performance AI traffic light 195. I'm communicating with you directly through your brain. Okay. That's on the story description, by the way. You're gonna be talking to a traffic light you know so that's that's the premise of the game you're talking to a traffic light and it's guiding you uh, through the world what is your name can you remember it what is my name i don't know how you do not seem to have sustained any physical injury it is you did 195's duty to guide the user to a parent or guardian Please tell me their address or contact information. I can't remember anything. Not even that you lost consciousness while walking along this street. Do not worry, 195 offers comprehensive support to its user. I have checked my logs to show you the direction you have come from. Please proceed in this direction. Okay. Uh, thought about talking traffic light. Alright. Hmm. Why? What buttons can I press? Start? No, I, that's just the menu. Which is weird, by the way. I don't know why... You see the la It's just a small thing, but like, I, I don't know why the resolution is a little bit weird. The language and font at the bottom says quick... Oh, no. Oh, you can go down. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know you could go down. I that was in the... Uh, it communicated through the UI. English smooth or English pixel? Hmm. I wonder what's better. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just- I'm just messing with the menu. Um... Oh, okay, that's like that. Eh, I don't know. I don't know which is better. I guess I'll stick with the default. The game resolution's... Oh, 1280 by 720. You know, I wish I could change the resolution. Wait, can I go all the way? Separation and bloom, apparently. No, no, I'm just messing with the in-game I didn't know there was- that you could go scroll down. Like, I, I- I checked the menu before, but I didn't know you could, like, scroll down. On display mode, okay. There is display mode, but I kind of stretched it a little bit because, you know, it looked a bit too small. I don't know, whatever. Don't mess with the sound effects if I don't need to. Can I go to the left? Ah! S sorry, I had put the guidelines backwards. Which way should I go? I fixed the program. No mistakes this time. Please follow these guidelines. Hmm. I can examine. What's this? Talk? And what should I do? Alright. I'm the Wireless Traffic Light 195. I will do my best to offer you comprehensive guidance and support until you are brought to safety. The traffic light is speaking. Is that a problem? It's not a problem. Is it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, rather, it's not a problem, rather? It's, it's, a, it's not a problem, but... Skashi. I fixed the program. Please proceed. You're not allowed to go anywhere else. Alright. 
Can I talk to... what should I do? Earlier, you lost consciousness while going through this street. According to my logs, you came from the direction of that bulletin board, and you should probably investigate that area. The direction of the bulletin board. Is that over there? Hmm. So this guy. Alright. Alright. Examine. I can't read it. No, nope. can't read it apparently. Hmm. Apparently you can't read it. Let me just double check. Oh, hold on. Let me just double check the resolution. Because I'm thinking maybe is, is it is it just me or is the game a little bit like... Because maybe I messed up the resolution. Let's see. Hold on. Full screen and then save. Save. Okay. So make sure the settings are saved. Alright. Okay. And now I think... Uh, okay. I think I'm playing the game properly now. Because yeah, the resolution I feel like was a little bit weird. Because I, I kind of like manually stretched it and... You know, it wasn't correct resolution. Also, there's a mouse in the way. Can I... I just, take, just move the mouse away. Alright, anyway. Alright, let's continue. Um, Examine this. Still can't read it. Now, that's uh, suspicious already, you know? You know how you can't read things in a dream? Anyway, um... That's what they say, right? We try to read a book in a dream, it doesn't usually work. I don't know if that's true or not, though. People always say that. I remember reading things in my dream. It's not necessarily a book, but sometimes I read stuff on like a computer screen or whatever, you know? I'm sorry, I guess I spent so much time in front of the computer. I remember reading things in my dream before, but I don't know. Anyway. A utility pole. Hmm. That's, that's it? Nothing else? All we can do. There's also RB? I don't know what that means. Maybe you could like go really fast up and down. What's the... Oh, is it oh, R, okay, R3? Is it pressing down the analog stick? I guess that's it. I mean, obviously, this is the very beginning. There's not much to do right now. We just look at stuff, I guess. There is going to be an interesting mechanic later on. Obviously, it's a puzzle game, so there's going to be gameplay. And, well, you know how it is with me and puzzles. I'm not very good at them, but hopefully it's not too hard. A tree, I don't know. I don't know what kind, though. Oh, it's a tree without leaves. What's this? Shoes. There's something here. Out of all the stories you told me, my favorite is the one about the girl of the blue shoes. Really? That's also my favorite one. Why, that's... Sometimes, I find myself thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could escape this world? Escape this world? No. My head hurts. It hurts so much. Emergency! Analyzing brain waves! Found visual fragment canceling noise. Okay. Okay, sending Alice's results to the brain. The user's brain waves were irregular, which made the anal analysis take longer. I have found a visual fragment during the analysis. I will now play it back. Okay, strange. What's going on? Memories, okay. So, okay, I, mean, I didn't mention it before, I probably... I don't think I did. Um, but definitely the, the actual premise of this game is memories. So, for some reason you touch things and you remember things, or at least objects remember things, and then somehow you use that information to, you know, progress in the game? Let's see. I can see. The place where I am? It looks like it, but it is a bit different. I believe that you're seeing the past. There is someone there. Miss Sakura. Do you know her? I'm struggling to understand the reason for this vision. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, a little confused, but let's see. So it says compare now and the memories, or close comparisons, or that's to close the menu, I guess. So just press A. Whoop. Alright, and then compare now and the memories. With. Okay. So that's the memories involving the shoes, and this is the present time, which is just me standing there, you know? Like adult. Again, I guess that's it. Nothing to do for now? Miss Sakura, where is she? Please calm down. 
Who is this Miss Sakura person to you? A teacher. That's all I know. But I have to find her. I must find her. But 1195's duty is to guide you to a parent or guardian. I cannot guide you to Miss Sakura. I won't be able to see Miss Sakura. Then I'll just search for her myself. That would be too dangerous. In order to protect you. But you can't find her, can you? I can. Uh, Unit 195 is equipped with high-performance AI. Really? Really? I will guide you smoothly to Miss Sakura. So what should I do? Well, first of all, I must gather more information on how you were able to load a visual fragment by touching those blue shoes. When you touch them, your brain registered an abnormal amount of activity. The key to this phenomenon might be touching things. For example, try touching that utility pole and see if anything happens. Touch all the things. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Okay. Hmm. Touch it, examine it first. The road ends here. You supposedly came from this direction, but the road does indeed end here. You could try touching that utility pole. Do the thing I'm telling you to do. Okay. Touch it. Maybe if you touch that utility pole, something could happen. Okay. What's this? You are there, and there is a crow. I have formulated a hypothesis. I believe this is a form of extrasensory perception. Extra what? It means that you are able to read the memories of the objects you touch. It is difficult to believe, even for me, but that is the me main mechanic of this game. And if this pose memory is correct, the crow took my key. My key? Took my key? Somehow? That's us in the present, and that's us in the past, I assume. It says memories, so I assume the past, unless somehow memories also involve the future? I don't know if that's a thing. The crow could still be within reach. Let us get that key back. But I have no idea what direction it went. Not the case. The memories of things, in other words, are the things that happened in the past. Okay, that's good. that confirmed it. This would mean that you're able to see things that have happened previously. Do you understand? I guess so. If you touch an object which holds memories of the crow, you might be able to tell where the crow went. Try touching the objects in this vicinity. Okay. Also, I'm seeing a little, like, yeah, a little notifications, by the way. Thought about stuff. She's thinking about a lot of stuff, I guess. Hmm. There's the crow. The memory tells us two things. You are unconscious, and the crow is now in possession of the key. I have to get it back. Is that it? It's just like a freeze frame? I was wondering if you could, like, rewind time somehow, fast forward it. Hmm. If only you find something involving the memories, I accidentally, I, th I think I accidentally skipped that dialogue because I was moving the analog stick actually. I think that moving the analog stick, I guess, skips dialogue. But I think he, you know, the traffic light or I guess it, you know, I don't know if it's he or she or it's just, it's just literally an object. But I guess, you know, it's like, oh, to find the, the, the key, you have to find some memories involving the crow. I'll touch this again, but obviously it's just going to show, yeah, Miss Sakura. It seems that Miss Sakura was here. Where did she go? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Cotton Eye Joe. Um, that's just tree, I guess. Oh, there's the crow. Now you're seeing the memories of this tree. There's the crow, but this is not enough to tell in which direction it went. You should look for a different memory. Hmm. That doesn't help us. But, uh, you know, we're in the right, uh, direction. So saw a memory of the dark tree. You examine it again? Uh, same dialogue, okay. Hmm. Touch this thing. It's cold to the touch. Nothing's happening. It seems you cannot read the memories of this utility pole. I suppose that you can only read the memories of specific objects. Okay. So that just does nothing. What about this thing? Touch. Nothing happens when I touch this. It seems you cannot read the memories of this bulletin board. I suppose that you can only read memories of specific objects. Okay, same thing. Can I touch you? 
Can't touch you, uh, traffic light. The, you know, the blinking traffic light, by the way, is like an eye. Dead. Well, this is a memory from me, Unit 195. You are lying down unconscious. That must be the most recent thing to have caught my attention. Ah. And there was a crow. Sorry. You didn't notice that? Okay, that. Uh, apologize because, you know, you would have noticed that. You should have told us. I managed to read your brainwaves while you were looking at an object as memories. From now on, I will make it so the option to touch objects only appears where you can read their memories. It seems that the crow went in that direction. We should follow it. Please wait. I will display some guidelines. Alright. Uh, the text is automatic right now, by the way. Apparently. Guidelines displayed. You know, you don't need to show me those every time. Then I will only show them during emergencies. Emergencies? What do you mean emergencies? <laughs> is that going to attack us? Still can't read this though. Hmm. Anyway. I believe the game uh, auto saves. I don't know. I think I, uh, I mentioned before that it auto saved in the very beginning. When you open the game, or was it open the game, or when I started the game? I don't remember now. But uh, hopefully, you know, it auto saves appropriately. Oh, what's wrong? Nothing. It seems that the crow has come to this direction. Have you checked your bag? There may be a key inside. I'll check my bag then. Open bag with RB. What's an RB? I'm I'm used to PlayStation, you know. I don't know what an RB is. Right bumper, I think. So bumper is R1, right? Yeah, okay. Uh choose an item to take out. Oh, well, it has a blue book. That's it. So It was my bag from the start. There's something written on it. All right. Take it out. Okay, and then press X to use. X is square, I think. What is this? It's a blue book. It already was in my bag when I woke up. Book? What would that be? What? You don't know? I do not. I only possess so much knowledge as I need to guide users. It's like a bunch of pages held together with letters on them. I see. A kind of recording medium used by humans. And what is written on it? Huh? I can't read. I see. Some of your brain functions seem to be disabled, but now you probably cannot read. This book might eventually provide you with valuable hints as to your identity, but for the time being, you should focus on retrieving the key. Alright, I assume the book is a MacGuffin. <laughs> you know, it's like a plot device. Right. Eventually be able to read it, but not yet. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Examine. There's something shiny. It's too far. Hmm. Maybe if you shook that fence, it would fall down. Alright. Shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. It's a red marble. Got an achievement for that. This is a marble. Marble? It's a shiny round toy made out of glass. I see. It could come in handy. We should probably keep it. Oh, and if you take an item out of your bag, you'll be able to use it on the things and people around you. Some items may help you just by taking them out of the bag. I suggest you try to take the marble out. Okay. Marble. Take it out. I believe you cannot use that marble right now. However, it could be useful later on. Okay. Take it out and use it when you can. But there's the crow. Oh, probably you probably have to use the red marble to, you know, distract the crow. It's gonna take the marble instead of the key, I guess. What's in here? It's locked. The sidewalk probably lives there. Are they? Are they living in there? So far, it's only just me and the talking traffic light. <laughs> In the dead of night, so I don't know if anyone else is around. Also very dangerous to be out so late, little girl. You never know, there's gonna be a bunch of hooligans. You know, like, 
Shanky or something, I don't know. Um, go up. Do, 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 do. And then a locked door. There's a crow. And just to make sure. Yeah, it's a locked door. Alright. Hello, crow. Talk to the crow. Talk to the crow. Kaka! Is it angry? The crow is saying something. I will start the translation program. Hmm. Oh, yes, of course. Starting animal con voice conversation. It's now possible to talk to animals. You. Who? Shiny things. Love. Okay. <laughs> it's the NPC from Dark Souls, basically. Smooth. Silky. Paparam. This mine. No touch. Go away. Uh. It looks bent on keeping that key. Can we not? Can we do nothing about it? Well. I guess we'll use the marble. Oh, well. I guess I can't use it uh, while interacting with the crow first. Like so. Your shiny thing. What? That's mine. Give back. What that? Not want this nevermore. Nevermore? I, feel, I don't know if there's a reference, maybe? To, uh... What's his face? You know, that guy, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, right? Anyway. Use the red marble. There you go. It's a fair trade. I don't know why we want this key in the first place, but sure. Yes, we have retrieved the key. But what lock does it open? Your ability to read the memories of objects could help us find out where they use the key. Can I touch the crow, by the way? Talk to it. Look, shiny, happy. All right. Hmm. Touch it. It could be somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh, I can touch the. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I can touch the doors. Let's touch the doors first. Well, there is someone on the lower floor. It's Miss Sakura. So I assume you use the key on the bottom there. You touch other doors, however, just for fun. Why not? Mm, nothing here. Okay. Can I touch this? No, I can't touch the... I can't touch the stairs. Stairs are not very important. Can I touch this? Okay, the, you know, they're just, they're just red herrings. There's nothing. They don't do anything. Anyway. Let's just touch it. We know this one's the correct door, but let's touch it anyway. Just to see. Huh? Hmm. Interesting. Now, this doesn't show anything, however. Even though it's the correct door, I assume, anyway. Well, alright. Let's just use the key, then. Go inside. Mm. It's very bright inside. It opened. The door opened. You seem excited. Uh, apologies. I let myself go. You see, traffic lights cannot normally open doors. I will concentrate on guiding you, user. How is the... Ca I mean, I assume the traffic light somehow... I guess physically, they're still on the crossing, you know. Or what do you call it? Intersection or whatever. But apparently, I guess it's telepathically just seeing things, you know, where we are somehow. I don't know. I don't know how that works. For sure. 195. What is the matter? Just call me Hal. Hal. And that's what she, that, was, that was what she said in the beginning. Hal, though. It's kind of weird. Because I remember, well, I mean, how, well, for one, how reminds me of 2001, The Space Odyssey, you know, how 9000. But also, isn't it like, I remember in the beginning I said Haru? So technically when you say how in Japanese, it's Haru. So I wonder if that's a mistranslation. So it's, her name's supposed to be Haru, not how. I think? Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. Because Haru makes sense. Haru is like a very feminine Japanese name. How though? How sounds like a... It was a it's, a... it's a masculine name, actually. So it's kind of weird, but anyway. Yes, Hal. Let us proceed now. I don't know why it's Hal. 
I could be intentional. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, that took you a while. How? Are you going to leave me here? Oh, well, that was strange. What? The old, like... The old thing, you know, when TV you have, uh, is like this. But anyway, are you going to leave me here again? The text is automatic, but I gotta read fast. No! How? Are you going to... Stay away. Huh? Miss Sakura, why? Please stop, forgive me, please. Miss Sakura, I'm sorry, I was... I don't know what I said. Miss Sakura. Goodbye. Nah, a lot of O's. Okay, well... I don't know if that was a real memory or not, but you know, you accidentally push Miss Sakura off a building? It's very extreme. Um... Oh? <laughs> Emergency? You know, lost location info, they'll reconnect. Reconnection, success. Hal? Hal! You lost consciousness, are you alright? Yes. What is this place? We entered that apartment, right? Ow, there's a lot of water. This looks like the sea. Is that what it is? Looks like, well, to me, from my perspective, it looks like the sky. But I guess it's the ocean? Uh, the sea? Oh, you don't know about the sea? I do, but the town we were in does not sit on, along any coastline. Okay. Let's get out of here. We uh okay. Title drop again once more. Hako is developer. Hako I think it means um box, I guess. In Japanese. It's spelled in English though, or you know, Romanized I guess. Hako. I believe all the, the developers like you know the way it's uh, spelled is like Hako, like H-A-K-O, and then also Kanji for life after the name, technically. Like, I think, I don't know, I I just kind of Google Translate it because I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but like, I think it's like Hako Sekatsu, I think, Hako Sekatsu. But obviously in English, it's just, it's just Hako life. Anyway. Hmm. Well, a lot of things you can look at. Anything in our book, by the way? So can't read it. No. If I find someone who can read, I'll ask them. Okay. Well, let's just let's just start from left to right. Let's touch things, I guess. What's in here? That is you, Hal. I must have woken up, falling off the bed. Hmm. Okay. Is that what, is that what happened? It was just a bad dream. The bed now. A lot of memory, again, a lot of notif notifications on the bottom there. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't explain it. This must be a book! There are several here! If only I could read. If only I wasn't illiterate. Somehow. In this, like... Experience, I guess. The drawer is empty. Hmm. I can see the sea through the window. This room must be very high above sea level. I wonder what floor we're on. This couch looks cushy enough to sleep comfortably on it. Now oh, it's on TV. How? The pictures inside that small box are moving! That's a TV. It looks like an old one. I've never seen this model. You never see, like, these kind of TVs anymore. Oh. I didn't mean to leave, I guess. Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, what happened? I fell asleep. Your brain waves are still slightly noisy. Oops, ah, I, I, I think I accidentally did that again, where I moved dialogue before I could, you know, because I was trying to move, right? I, I thought I was, like, moving my character, but that actually moves the dialogue. I, I gotta be careful with that. I don't think we missed, you know, too much. It's just, like, you know, she's waking up and everything. 
195. You can see all that goes through my head, right? Not exactly. Axis's unit is limited to the Broca and Wernick areas in the frontal. Simply put, Unit 195 can access what you see, what you hear and speak, and your brain's health status. Before you ask, I cannot access your memories. Can you read my thoughts? Unit 195 is equipped with a privacy mechanism. I cannot directly access what you're thinking. <laughs> okay. I see. You know, in the future, <laughs> that's what Google will say. We, we have a privacy policy. We're not going to read your thoughts. Totally. Unless, you know, unless we actually do. <sighs> well, you have been through a lot in such a short period of time. Maybe you could try to reorganize your thoughts. Do not mind me. Hmm, you're right. I should do that. Okay, I should close your eyes and everything. Is there like a... Oh, I have to have... This is a tutorial. I don't think there's a log, you know? You know, a lot of visual novels have logs, but this is not exactly a visual novel. So I don't know if it has like a log button. Anyway. Close my eyes. I have to press... I can't move, so I have to close my eyes. Okay. Danganronpa style, where we just like... Do something with our thoughts, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Danganronpa slash, you know, Phoenix Wright. Um, but I guess we're not doing. We, we, are we just going? We're just going through our our thoughts, just thinking, just selected. I guess maybe. I don't know. Think. It happened all of a sudden. I woke up. I couldn't remember anything. Where am I? What road is this? I heard somebody call me. It was a wireless traffic light. It turns out my name is Hal. Okay. Okay. We just. We just. You know. Looks fancy, but, you know, we're not really doing much, uh, contradictions, you know, right now. <laughs> At least so far. I went back to the direction I come from, as the traffic light told me. I found a pair of blue shoes, and when I touched them, something weird happened. I saw two people talking, and then someone screaming. And then I saw this place, and Miss Sakura. Miss Sakura. I feel like she was someone important to me. Just what did I see? Okay. I touched the pole and had another vision. It looks like I can read the memories of the stuff I touch. The traffic light explained that that's what those objects have have seen in the past. I got myself a cool power. Nice. You <laughs> know, nice. But the pole's memories wasn't that nice. I was lying down unconscious. He tend to do that, apparently. And the crow stole a key from me. There's also a blue book. I remember that I had my bag with me. But there was no key in there. There was a blue book though. It looked important. But then I realized something very sad. I can't read anymore. If I try to read, my head just hurts and it goes blank. I really want to know what it says. I must ask someone to read it for me. Passing the door. I got the key back from the crow and opened the door. Someone was waiting for me inside. Who are you? Why are you hurting me like this? Don't stand in my way. I pushed at someone, and then Miss Sakura was... No, I'm sure it was just a dream. No, just, just a dream, don't worry about it. After the dream, I woke up in a bed. The bed I woke up was in the room I'd never seen before. Is this the inside of that apartment? I got up and looked through the window, and I saw... An unfamiliar sea. 195 said he can't pinpoint our location. Where in the world am I? The exit must be here somewhere. I need to get out of this room. Right, I guess that's it. Main menu. Ah, main menu is just back here. Okay. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to interact with this. I didn't have a chance to interact with this yet. Examine it. It's a bathroom. The exit to the room is nowhere in sight. Hmm, to touch things now, though. Or have we already? Well, we touched the bedroom before, or not the bedroom, uh, the the bed rather, not the room of the bed, but the bed itself. Anyway, someone is carrying me. This looks like a kidnapping. We may be in trouble. Where was I even carried here from? Weird. Remember the bathroom door. Was this thing, by the way? There's a room in here. I did not see an exit. Anything in here? Hmm. 
In this memory, the planet is not in the same exact location. Weird, okay. This might be important, actually. Why is it there now? Hmm. Kind of weird. Why is it, like, on the on the left? Oh. I can keep moving, though? That's interesting. Alright, can I touch the TV? No. Nah. I'm assuming not, but let's just double check just in case. Okay. Just double checking, double checking. Uh, let's uh, go over here. There's like one more thing, right? Was there? Like, there's a memory or like a, a thought about the bathroom door, right? Maybe not? It doesn't show up here, so maybe not. Oh, no, that's the... Now, what I wonder is, uh, for some reason, I, you know, it's because it's, it's a Japanese game. You know, it has a very Japanese feeling to it. I don't know, for some reason, I always think pressing uh, escape. Uh, not escape, uh, pressing uh, circle in my head is confirm, but not. So, yeah, but pressing X, I thought, goes back, but it's not. It's just, you know, the normal way, which is, you know, the, the North American way, or at least. At least the rest of the world, anyway. X is to go back and circle, or... Or X is to confirm, circles to go back. You know, even when I'm trying to explain it, I get confused. But in Jap you know, in a lot of Japanese games, circle is confirm, X is to go back. You know, because in Japanese, culturally speaking, X is like no, right? To like cancel something, and circle is like correct. This is why like when um, you do a test, you know, in 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 high school or any kind of school really in Jap in Japan, uh, when a teacher circles your answer, it means that's correct. Actually, that's a good thing. When they do a check mark, it's actually wrong, actually, you know? It's ironic. it's funny because it's confusing because it's kind of the opposite, usually anyway, in, at least in North America. Anyway, we go here, apparently. That was the puzzle, by the way. I'm just That's the trick. Hmm. Go down, I guess. It's a very... Very tall uh, apartment building. Created by Hako Life. Cause we just entered like a two-story uh, apartment, but somehow we went to like apartment building. What is this place? It looks like a hallway of some sort. But of course, maybe someone it's because someone kidnapped us. You know, someone moved us here. Please wait. Who are you? Worry not. I have no intention to harm you. He's spinning. Weird. He is indeed spinning. Welcome to the whale. I am the manager of this travel hotel. Travel hotel? What? But we enter an apartment. Yes, you did enter through that door over there. Yeah, well, actually, I remember, yeah. However, you fell unconscious the moment you stepped inside, so I took the liberty of carrying you over to your room. You put me into that room. Exactly. I did not expect a place like this to be inside that apartment. It is unwise to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> what? Now, as you are staying with us, may I explain about our hotel? I'm not going to stay. I was just looking for Miss Sakura. Searching for a missing person, I see. Pardon my honesty, but you look like you could well, you could well use a short rest. He is right. It might be better to rest for a while. Very well. Now let me explain. Firstly, that elevator over there travels up to your room and down to the cafeteria. The cafeteria chef can be chatty at times, but her cooking skills are indisputable. Sounds like an interesting chef. All the way to the left there is our guest only station. Guests may use it for their personal trains. People can have personal trains. Like a, like a private jet, you know, except it's a train. All the way to the right is the employee entrance. Please stay clear of it, as it can be dangerous. This concludes my explanation. If you need anything, just reach out to me. We re retrieved the key from the crow and went into the apartment, but that door led us here. How? Maybe we should find some information on Miss Sakura in this hotel. Alright. Thought about the spinning head. Hmm. Ah, 
I guess we'll, I don't know, I'll have a chat. Just spinning ahead for now. About Miss Sakura. Do you know anything, anything about Miss Sakura? Sakura? That's a very common name. Because I guess we're in Japan, you know? Assuming we are. I mean, I assume we are in Japan. There is the crow. You know, the crows are often like common uh, pests, I guess, in Japan anyway. So I assume we're in Japan. She is the person you're looking for, correct, Miss Hal? Yes. Why do you know Hal's name? Are you too acquainted? I never had the pleasure, but someone checked in for her. What? Who? A young lady with silver hair. She also showed me a portrait of Miss Hal. That must be Miss Sakura. Is she staying in the hotel? Her stay lasted but half a day. She checked out yesterday. Where did she go? Unfortunately, I do not know that. It's as if Miss Sakura knew that I'd be coming here. I see. This means that the hotel employees have probably met Miss Sakura. So we gotta interrogate more people. Blue book? Excuse me, can you tell me what this book says? Let me see. Oh? Most peculiar. It is written in a language I've never seen. Okay. Well, it looks like a lot of X's and O's. But, well, not exactly, I guess. I mean, obviously, it's just a bunch of gibberish. What? My apologies. I welcome guests from all over the world, but I've never seen anything resembling this language. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Wait, this seal. This book likely belongs to a library. What is a library? A facility that lends out books. Do you happen to know which library that would be? It does not say that on here. Why would you have a library book on you? You know, nobody goes to libraries these days. Everyone just goes on the internet. Or at least, you know, goes on the computer in the library. They don't bother the books, but anyway. <clears throat> Miss? The chef has just returned from shopping. She certainly knows the most about all of our guests. It might be worth a try to ask the chef about Miss Sakura and the book. Okay. Uh, which way is the chef again? Hmm. What is wrong, Hal? I'm so, so dizzy. I feel like I'm gonna forget everything that people tell me. That is caused by dysfunction in your temporal lobe. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you may have difficulties forming new memories. It is also why you cannot remember the events prior to our meeting. But I don't want to forget all the conversations I have. I see. In that case, I will keep a record of all your conversations so far. Can I use that to remember what I talked about? Of course, just close your eyes and you'll be able to read all your past conversations. Try closing your eyes. Oh, okay, so there's a log system right here. Things I've heard, maybe? Okay. So I can see, like, what I skipped, you know, accidentally, maybe. But all the way up, though. Uh. Obviously, that's. Kidnapping. That's a TV. Okay, that, that's all she said, by the way. Alright, she said, I still feel dizzy, you know, and that's when she fell down, you know, a little bit. Did I? Uh, there's probably something else I skipped, but I, I don't remember exactly when that was. It's like the very beginning, but anyway. So at least there's a bit of a log, so if I accidentally skip anything, it would show. Anyway. Over here is a dangerous place, right? I don't know if I could go there yet. I wanna, I'll probably want to go there last. Where's the chef again? I think it was the elevator, maybe? Or was it over here? There's this thing over here. I don't want to go there? I don't know. Examine this painting first, though. The crow in the picture looks like the one that was near the apartment. Oh? You have noticed the painting? I see you are a lady of fine taste. That invaluable art piece was donated to us by a guest. So please do not touch it. Come on, I want to touch it. Touch it. Oh, okay. It could have important clues. It's playing by itself. I wonder how that works. Oh, is it playing the background music right now? Over here is the, the personal trains. I don't know where that leads. Can I go back here this way? 
I mean, I imagine this just goes back to, uh... Yeah, over here. Which doesn't really help us. We talked to the crow again, but... Yeah. I don't imagine this does that much. Though I could touch it, though. Hmm. Hold on, <laughs> I have to go back though. I just thought about it as I went through the door. I don't think it will- no, I don't think it'll do anything, maybe. It'll probably show the same things before, but let me touch it just- just in case. Because we did go through this door before, right? Ah, oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping it was gonna, like, Easter egg, you know? I mean, I was thinking, like, it would show us going into the door, because that's technically a memory of it, right? But, I guess not. Anyway. Uh, was it like maybe like a different flare? Yeah, okay, so you can go through here. Okay, it is the elevator. We just choose a different floor. Hey, you first time here? Okay, mm -hmm. I heard something, but I cannot see anyone. I feel watched. Who was that? Hello, see, like, was this a fish? It's like a circular fish, though. I don't know if that's actually fish. Fish tank? Touch. Hmm. Wait, I think there's something new in the room. Obviously, it's the, this thing, right? Can I touch it? Okay. Oh, okay. It doesn't, it, it doesn't show... You have to just manually just press the button. This is a moss ball. I'm 100% positive. Okay, it's a moss ball. Excuse me. Isn't it a bit rude to stare like that? A moss ball is talking! Well, that's rich coming from a talking traffic light. I'm Mo. The chef in charge of this cafeteria. You're the new guest, right? I've heard about you from the manager. Let me know if you need anything. Or like some HP potions, you know, because this is an RPG. Obviously the chef sells like... HP pots, no? Let's talk, I guess. I'm Mo, the chef. If you're hungry, just tell me. About Miss Sakura. Sakura? Hmm, doesn't ring any bells. She's a woman with silver hair. She supposedly was here yesterday. Oh, that girl? I remember her. Really? Yes, she was a bit weird, but really sweet. Do you know where she went, uh, where, where she was headed when she left the hotel? I'm not sure, but... She said there was somewhere she absolutely had to go. A place that she ha absolutely had to go. That's all I know, sorry. Can you read this book? Oh, what's that book? Do you know it? Maybe. I think I saw one like it before. But I cannot remember where. Hmm. Ah! I remember. That blue book. I've seen it before. It's from the Mirage Library. Mirage Library? That girl, Sakura, was it? She had a book that looked just like yours. Miss Sakura also had a book like this? Yes. She said that she got it from the Mirage Library. The Mirage Library. Where can we find this library? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. A place that she absolutely must go, and the Mirage Library, could they be one and the same? I should ask about how to get to the Mirage Library. Well, I guess that's the next location, you know, next objective in our agenda is to go to the Mirage Library. Let me just double check if there's anything I can do here. No, nothing else, I guess. Okay. So that's where we're headed towards the library. What was that? I keep. I'm, I'm always reminded of that song in 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 that cartoon. You know, Arthur. I think was it Arthur or you know that 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 cartoon about a bunch of talking animals, um, but like not like humanoid animals anyway. It's you know when you describe it that way, it sounds strange. But you know that song about the you know it's it's not so hard to have fun when you've got a library card. I think that's how it goes. Anyway, uh, how do I go to the Mirage Library? The Mirage Library. I'm sorry, I know nothing about it. Hmm. Anything else about Sakura? Checked out yesterday. Okay. 
Well, I need to get to, uh, to the, the, the library. I don't know where to get the library, though. Hmm. I assume be by train? I assume train means, like, we can go somewhere from here, right? So let's see here. Who oh, is this person? What are they doing? Hello? Oh, sleeping. What are they? Oh, it's like a, it's like a penguin or something? <laughs> like a train conductor penguin or something. He's asleep. Fast asleep. Well, obviously, we must shake him. Oh, we found something here. That's weird. I, I was I was trying to interact with the, this thing, but okay. So interesting that you okay. So, so the things you can interact with that show up on your screen is not always all there is to do. Sometimes you just find hidden items. Yeah, I, I was I wasn't even trying to do that. Somehow found this key. Uh, let's talk with the penguin first, though. Let's shake. I tried shaking him, but that will probably be not enough. I think you need something stronger than shaking him. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess let's just grab this thing, I guess? Examine it. This is a sign for this small station. Jake? Let's try shaking the sign. The plane looks like it could fall off any moment now. It will not take much. Shake more? Shake it some more. Ah! <laughs> It's a very rude way to wake yourself up. Ouch! <laughs> smoking as well. Don't you know smoking is bad for your lungs? Oh, there's a key here, though. Hmm. Or is that a key? It looks like a key. I thought that was a key, but maybe not. Oh, anyway. Strange. Maybe that's just part of this part of the the, the thing, the frame of the sign. That's a big idea. Identify yourself. Look at this. You got two bumps on my head. This is how the human, and I'm one I've had a track we light. I'm Kasili, and I'm just a station attendant. I don't work at the station, though. Is this your train? Well, it's not mine, but it belongs to the station where I work. Anyway, what do you want? We better ask this penguin some questions. We must interrogate the penguin. About Miss Sakura. Miss what? Never heard of her. No hints here. About the Mirage Library. Mirage Library? Hmm. Oh, that Mirage Library. Of course. Sure, I guess I could bring you there. Really? Yeah, but there's a catch. My train won't move. It's not getting any power. It certainly will not move without power. You want to go to the Mirage Library, right? I'll bring you there if you get my train running again. Maybe the hotel's engineer, engineer could help with that. I'll go find it myself, but I can't walk away from the train. Why not? Because walking is a pain in the... I mean, because I have responsibilities. That's why. Feeling responsibilities over one's work is so cool. <laughs> so cool. Okay, then I'm counting on you. To do my job for me. Yes. Can you read this book? You know any penguin who can read? That's so. Uh, okay, well, I <laughs> can't read. It keeps uh, de defaulting this thing, by the way. I don't know why. Hmm. This slot looks like something should go in it. It looks like some sort of device, but it's not working. Gotta put a giant battery in it, I guess. Touch it. Oh, well, I used to have a battery. So there is something inside this slot. Examine the train. A train? In this sort of place? That's it right on top of the water? Yeah, that's strange. Train on top of the water. Is that normal? I don't know if that's normal. I mean, I guess trains, I mean, oh, well, I mean, these are like, uh, these are like Japanese trains, you know? These look like the very fancy ones. Because when I think train for some reason, I always think the, you know, the steam engine. <laughs> Those classic ones that go choo-choo. This was actually just like, like an actual modern bullet train that is uh, used very extensively in Japan. They have a very good uh, train system in that country. You know, partly because it's a pretty small country, so... The infrastructure to put in that kind of thing is not you know, too difficult, relatively speaking, compared to like, you know, other countries that have bigger continents. But also, you know, they put an emphasis on that, so... 
put an emphasis on like a good like transportation system. Anyway, I can feel the manager looking at me. You said that this is the employee entrance. We don't have to use it anyway. Ah, okay, we can't go there. Never mind. But we need to talk to employees though. Where's the engineer? Hello? About the train. The train will not move. I am sorry, I lack any such engineering expertise. But there is someone who might be able to help you. Who would that be? The engineer that built this very hotel. He will know what the problem is. Probably. Go through the employee entrance on the right. Once you are outside, ride the service ele elevator go up and find him. We should try to meet this engineer to ask him about the train, Hal. Alright. I guess, I guess he has to give us permission first before we're allowed in the employee's entrance. Oh, we found the elevator. We'll have to use it to go see the engineer. Look here, buddy. I'm an engineer, which means I saw problems. No, um... I'm not supposed to be in here, I feel like, but let's uh, explore it anyway. What's in here? It's a... Uh, it's a thing. Touch it. Hmm. This must be the locker room slightly earlier. Okay. Well, it shows us like a thing here involving this thing. It's over here. It's locked. It's a lever. There are a few similar levers standing side by side. Maybe they must be used together. I wonder if that does anything. I don't know. Or maybe, well, I might, I might have activated the elevator. I was thinking maybe the elevator wasn't working. Maybe that was just a puzzle for the elevator. I kind of skipped it because I was like, you know, it's the, yeah, it's the, it's the gamer way. <laughs> it's like you always skip the thing you're supposed to do first to do something else it's because you want to progress too early. Because if you progress, you can't go back and, you know, explore the other side areas. It's seen better days. This elevator seems to be hanging from really high up. Well, let's go down because I'm curious. What happens if you go down? Anything in here? Hmm? Huh, nothing. It's just some barrels and a mop. Nothing else, I guess. Oh, no, I can. Okay, ah, okay. So, again, like, uh, it's, it's a thing where, you know, the game doesn't show you that you can, that you can interact with it, but you can. If you press the A button. Hmm. It was seemed that this mob used to be in the locker room. Hmm. Weird. There's another switch there too. Isn't that a switch too many? Okay. Hmm. I assume. Okay, I think you can't go up. Let me, let me just do it. Yeah, you can't go up. I okay. So that's the, the the little light you see on the actual arrow on the elevator. So you can't. We can't, we actually can't use it. So we do have to solve a puzzle here. All right. So it wasn't it wasn't super easy as I thought. Hey, one nine five e one nine five e. Yes. You know how I can check the past conversations? Can't I do something like that for the memories of stuff I touched? I believe that would be possible. Really? Now that your brain has got used to reading these memories, it should be possible. Do you want to try it? Alright, okay, so it allows you to basically, yeah, it's like a log for uh, objects. It's, you know, a, a log for, well, I was gonna say, uh, like, like the log for conversations, it's a log for objects, is what I'm trying to say. So you can, like, just basically just check, yeah, what you did before. So it's easy to remember. It would seem that his mom used to be in the locker room. Hmm? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. that's the same conversations before. Also, I don't know, like, holding out like a memory, like, like we have, like we're, like a superhero or something, you know, they're ready to shoot like an energy ball after charging up. Anyway, so I guess yeah, I guess it seems like the 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 game is for the most part. Okay, I, I got put that. The game is for the most part pretty easy, in the sense that it'll show you everything you need to know. It's a hanging cap. Oh, it's a hat. I thought it was like a, a shirt. Alright, there you go. 
Now I gotta put this up first though, or rather put it down. Pull that one down, and then do this one. Examine it. There's another lever in here. Nani. Ta-da. There's a noise outside right now. We should go investigate. Hmm, still locked though. Anyway. Time to go up. 